quick tip when we're scanning is we want to make sure that as we scan backwards, we need to make sure that we're actually looking and trying to diagnose what's behind us. We don't just want to do a stand to do moves. We're actually physically moving slow enough to be able to process what we're seeing behind us. If someone was holding up fingers or moving trash or whatever it is behind you, you should be able to note that and be able to tell somebody that what you've seen behind them after you scanned. If not, you're not doing it properly. Um, a lot of people say that it's range theatrics, but anybody that's been in combat knows that if you're engaging one enemy, they could absolutely be flanking you. Okay? Um, we see this all the time in self-defense incidents where there's multiple attackers coming from multiple different angles. You need to be aware and cognizant of what you're doing in your surroundings. Okay? So if you're going to do the scan, make sure that you're actually looking behind you. You could absolutely add in some movement if you have the ability to do that, to be able to move around to make yourself a little bit harder to pin down. Um, but at the end of the day, make sure you know what you're looking at when you scan behind you. Move slow enough to do that. One more tip. If I try to scan behind me at full extension, notice I cannot really get my head all the way around. It's really uncomfortable. It's very hard to get a good picture of what I see behind me. All I want to do, come into compression. This allows me to be able to keep my barrel down range or wherever the, the designated area is that I've deemed safe to have my barrel and allows me to fully get myself around to really see what's behind me, okay? Because I also need to be, if I turn around and I see something, I need to be able to react to it too as well, okay? All right, stay safe.